G'day guys, it is Jack here, That Vegan Dad. Another taste test review. Can you believe it? Once again, there is a new vegan friendly product that has just been released in Australia supermarkets. And this time, it is this one. The Chick Free Strips, check them out there. So naturally have been, you know, probably most people would know the brand from their plant-based mints that has been available at Woolworths for the last couple years. It's probably the one mints that are probably most vegans have tried. Like there's a lot more plant-based mints that have been recently released. So a lot more variety out there, but naturally plant-based mints is probably the one that everyone has tried once before. But now they have released these chick-free strips and I am really keen to see how they taste because I feel like the naturally plant-based mints is probably one of the better mints out on the market. So this one is available for $9 at Coles Supermarkets and you get 180 grams of the plant-based chicken in there. So 180 grams is quite quite little in comparison to other brands out on the market. There is Plant Asia, which is 360 grams for their plant-based roast chicken. This is half of it and the same price. So let's see how it compares to that, how it tastes, how it looks when cooking, and if it is worth your money. I am so keen to get into this. I am just gonna whip this into the fry pan right now to see how it tastes and let you guys know if it is worth your hard earned money. So let's get into this review right now. Alrighty, just fried them up, I crumbed them up actually. I just got some breadcrumbs, got some nooch, um, parsley and crumbed them up and made these little crumb chicken strips. So they cooked quite well. And you know what I actually really enjoyed about this as well? There's minimal ingredients in this product, which is really great. There's a lot of you know plant-based mock meats out there which have an abundance of ingredients on it. This one probably just only had a handful, which is great that it's a bit more natural than some of the other mock meats out there. But $9, available at Coles. Let's see how these taste. Straight away, you get quite a strong gluten, sort of wheaty taste to these products. Texture's not 100% there either. And really, they're quite, actually quite small, quite bitsy, and they don't have a lot of flavor on them. If it wasn't for the breadcrumbs and the seasoning that I put onto it, I would imagine that it would be really quite bland. Here's a chunky one. I'm gonna actually say I'm actually really disappointed with this one, especially for the price that you're paying. $9 for 180 grams is really expensive for what you get. Lack of any sort of flavor in this besides like a wheaty, gluteny sort of taste to it. If you don't crumb it or season it yourself, it's gonna be quite bland. Texture, you know, as with a lot of other mock meats, it's kind of rubbery, kind of doesn't kind of pull apart like you would expect with chicken to be like. And for $9, it's just really hard to justify it when you've got other options out there, which, you know, similar price, but the quantity inside is much more. And I'm sorry to do comparisons here, but Plant Asia ones, you know, it's slightly marinated, slightly gives off that roast chicken sort of taste to it. Whereas this one, there's not a really a great deal of flavor in it. So if you are actually gonna buy these, I'd definitely recommend, you know, seasoning it yourself or just having some sort of sauce with it as well. Because on its own, it definitely severely lacks any sort of flavor. I tried it out, you know, a little bit disappointed. I really had high hopes for the natural chick free plant-based strips. You know, their mince is really tasty and very versatile. So I was expecting a similar quality with their chick free strips, but unfortunately I cannot justify the price. I cannot justify you guys buying these for that price as well, when there are other alternatives on the market. And for that price, $9, it is quite steep. 
especially when the quality isn't as good as others. You know, maybe if this came down to like five, six dollars, it definitely would be a great option. But for the time being, I cannot justify it. Anyway, that is just my opinion. Of course, if you have tried out this product, please let me know your opinion in the comment section below. I love hearing you guys. Your feedback is amazing. And definitely I love hearing your opinion on these new vegan friendly products. Anyway, that is it for now. So if you enjoyed this video, chuck it a like, share it around, comment below, and as always, I greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with new vegan friendly content. By subscribing to this channel, you help this channel grow. So that is a great way to spread that vegan message to more people. Anyway, that is it guys, that is it for now. So until next time, I will catch you guys very, very soon.